third grade. Today we're going to look at unit six, week two, day four. Let's get started with our drill sounds warm up. A apple a. Ah. A wash ah. A squash ah. A safe a. A acorn a. A Alaska a. Uh. E peat e. E me e. O home o. O no o. Why cry i. Why baby e. C cat k. C s when followed by e i or y. Good. G game g. G j when followed by e i or y. Nice work. Okay, now we're going to get introduced to our word of the day today. It is extra. Say it. Extra. What would I put here for x? Go ahead. Right. E, X, and how about the second syllable? Tra, be careful on that one. Right, T-R, that's a blend. It's, it sounds kind of like ch, C-H, but it's not. What makes the uh sound again? It's not short U, right? It's this open syllable exception, schwa there. All right, so really quickly, we know what extra means. I don't think we have to talk about the meaning of it, right? You want extra minutes of recess, right? You want extra pieces of candy. All right, so when we mark it up, X is what kind of syllable? Tell me. Closed. You got it. Symbol over the vowel is the brief for short vowel. Now, tra. It looks like, since the vowel is left open here, it's not closed in, it looks like it would be open, doesn't it? But is this making the long vowel sound like a normal open syllable? No, that's why it's the open exception, remember? And I don't put a breathe there, it's not a. Ah. I don't, don't put a macron, it's not a. I put a, right, the toughest one for me to make on the computer is the upside down e for schwa symbol. Very good, extra. All right, so do me a favor, take out your student notebook. If you don't have your student notebook at home, it's not a big deal. Just write it on a piece of paper, and when you come back to school, you can get it all caught up. In your student notebook, if you go to your vocabulary section, your E's start on page 65. And actually, we have not had... This is our first word of the day that starts with E. So page 65... Find your first E and go ahead and spell the word extra and mark it up carefully. Pause the video if you need more time, but extra needs to be added to page 65 in your student notebook. All right, let's go ahead now and get ready for the sentence, okay? You try it at home to write it as I write it in school, and then at the end, I will do the big reveal. Okay, capital letter to start, yes. I need extra, I need extra time, I need extra time to do my math work. I'll read it one more time. I need extra time to do my math work. Put a some kind of punctuation at the end to figure it out. All right. Pause the video if you need more time before I give away the answer for spelling. All right, let's take a look. I is a pronoun. You should know that now, yes? Always capitalized, no matter where it is. Need extra 
time to do my math. How'd you do with work? W-O-R-K. All right, that could have been, that one wasn't too bad. Maybe work was the hardest one there. All right, now let's think about scooping it into phrases. I'm thinking of two as I, I always have to go back and read it again in my head to see what sounds natural. See if this sounds good. I need extra time to do my math work. I did two scoops. I need extra time to do my math work. Now yours can be different, of course, we know that, but make sure it just sounds natural and not choppy. All right, pause if you need more time to get this word of the day added on page 65. All right, very good. Okay, before we do our last activity of dictation composition book to practice, we are going to look at three words and have you help me build them. The first word is adult. Say it, adult. I am an adult. So what's the first syllable? Ah, uh, what do I put? I hope you're not saying short U, right? In unit six, we know that this is the open syllable exception, like A, Alaska, A. Uh. Now, this one could be a little bit tricky. Dalt. I know you know it starts with a D. We might have a mystery here. A dalt. What's the blend at the end, though, we can get? Right, L, T. Okay, we need a vowel in this part. A dalt. Hmm, you might think it sounds like, it's not alt, though. We know O-L-T is adult. Mm, I don't like O. Adult, adult, adult. What's the best one? It actually is a U. And if you needed to use your tools, your dictionary to help you with that, of course you could have. All right, really quickly, let's mark it. Ready? Step one, go. Scoop it. You got it. Step two, tell me what this syllable type is. Open exception, correct. What do I put on top of the vowel? Right, it's not a breve, it's not a macron, it's the unexpected schwa. Step two, what do I call this kind of syllable? It's closed in, right, closed, and it is, that's the short. It's kind of changed a little bit because of the L, but it is still short. Okay, don't forget also in unit six, we talked about words like this. Silly, say it, sil. Lee. How do I do sill? Easy, go. S I L, right? We have to close it in. Now, when you have a word that ends with E, it's an open syllable. Is it ever an E? Remember? Right, it's that Y. And when it ends with a Y, does it usually like to be by itself? No. So we have to do the bonus letter, correct? So it's not alone. The only one that was an exception to that rule was one of our words of the day that we had this unit um, study. Remember it was stud and then E was by, the Y was by itself like Y baby E. Okay, so let's mark this one up real quick. First step, go. Scoop it. Second step, what kind of syllable? Close with a what? Breathe. Good, we're getting faster. And what kind is this? This is a vowel. We use the vowel pink card. Right, it's open and it has a long vowel. We don't just put a macron though there. Y can sometimes say I, Y can sometimes say E. So we have to make sure we indicate which long vowel it sounds like. So this one sounds like a long what? E, right. And we could put the macron there on top of the E. All right, good work. Okay, the last word is kind of like that. This word is lazy. Say it. Lazy. What do we do? L. A. Yes, long A. And then what do we do for Z? It's Z what? Not E. Right. Y, baby E. Okay, so when we mark this one, you know the first step. Go. Scoop it. What kind of syllable type is this? Is this closed in? This vowel hmm, has nothing after it. Now, 
It's not an exception though, because why? Right, this is actually doing this long vowel with the macron now, le is an open syllable. This is also, look at the vowel here, and it's long. This is another open syllable, except we have to indicate, like we did on the last one, that this sounds like the long E. Correct. All right, way to go. Okay, as I said, the last activity that we're going to do today is a dictation composition book. If you don't have this book at home, it's okay. You can still practice. Get a blank sheet of paper somewhere at home and follow along. You can bring this back to me at school and show me that you've practiced. We are on page 20. So composition book, page 20. You're going to write the date at the top, whatever date it is that you're doing this. And this is, again, not a checkup. It's just a, you know, practice. So we will be going over the answers, and I'm going to ask that you pause while you write the answers down so that we can get the best practice possible. All right. We are ready to begin on the top of page 20, sound number one. Are you ready? Uh, say it. Uh, now pause the video and write the both things. That's two. Associated with the uh sound. Okay, let's check and see how you did. Hopefully you got you up, uh. And don't forget unit six, a Alaska, uh. All right, sound number two. Let me check here what I want. Oh, yes. E, say it. E. Pause the video and write all. See if you can get four. Definitely you should get three. Go ahead. All right, let's see how you did here. E dash E, like in Pete. E by itself, like in me, the open syllable. Y baby E. And remember, this is up and coming. I champion E. Okay? Number three. O, say it. O, go ahead and try. All right, this one, hopefully you were able to get both, two of them. O dash E or O consonant E like home and O by itself like in the open syllable, no. And number four, alt, say it. Alt, go ahead. All right, how'd you do with alt? O -L -T, O-L-T, colt, alt. All right, recheck your sound row and make sure it's good. Now let's go on to review words. Word number one, stack, say it, stack. I made a stack of blocks, stack. Spell it first, then mark it. Okay, let's take a look and see how you did with spelling, S-T-A-C-K right? CK always comes after a short vowel. And check on the screen here to see, did you get the blend at the beginning? It's a closed syllable. And you remember how to mark digraphs, yes, at the end? All right. Word number two is base word, underline it, suffix, circle it. The word is shift, shifting. Say it, shifting. The weather outside is shifting now that it's winter. Shifting. Hey, pause the video if you need more time. Let's see how you did with the base word first. Shift. S-H-I-F-T. Okay, and see how I marked that base word. It's closed, right? And I marked the digraph and the blend, and I put the breathe over the short vowel. Did you get the suffix circled I-N-G for shifting, shifting or changing, right? All right, word number three. This one also has a suffix because it's plural. Grades, say it, grades. I hope I get good grades on my report card. Grades, spell it and mark it. All right, well, our base word is grade, G-R-A-D-E. Hopefully you saw that that's a vowel consonant E syllable, right? I marked my blend at the beginning, G-R-G-R, 
I put a macron over my long vowel. And don't forget to cross off your silent E, right? And then you just attach the S to make it plural. All right, number four, ticket. Say it. Ticket. Two syllables. Tick it. And be careful of the schwa. Go ahead and try it. All right, hopefully you got tick, the first syllable, right? Because it's multisyllabic. T-I-C-K for tick. It, it sounds like it could be I-T, but do you remember? Right, it's E-T. The only two words that we had with I-T were limit and, hmm, trying to think of it right now. Habit, that's right. Limits and habit. All right, so check your markings for ticket and see if you agree. Did you remember to put the schwa symbol above the E because it's unexpected? All right. Now we're on to current words. The first current word I want you to write is awake. Say it. Awake. The baby is awake and is crying in the crib. Awake. Okay, let's see how you did. A uh is the A. Wake, W-A-K-E. Look and see, did you mark a uh, as that open syllable exception with the schwa symbol? And wake is a vowel dash E, macron on the long vowel, silent E crossed off, right? All right, word number two, scuba, say it, scuba. The scuba diver is wearing goggles, scuba. Okay, how'd you do with the first syllable, scoo? S C long U, right? And then B B A. Now scoo, think of you flu oo, right? That's an open syllable because that actually is long. And B is an open syllable exception because that A is doing that schwa sound. All right. Word number three is ooh, Alaska. Okay. A uh, Alaska. Alaska is a state in our country. Alaska. Remember, state names have what kind of letter at the beginning? All right, let's see how you did with spelling that state name. Capital for the beginning of a state, yes. Las, L-A-S, ka, K-A. And then this one is three syllables, so it should have three scoops. Open syllable exception with a schwa. Las is closed with a brev. And ka is an open syllable exception with a schwa symbol. Okay, your fourth and final word to mark today is going to be lobby. Say it. Lobby. You go to the playground by walking through the lobby doors. Lobby. Lob. B. Mark it and spell it. Okay, pause the video if you need more time, but here is the reveal. Lob. How'd you spell it? L-O-B. Right, and remember, Y doesn't like to be by itself, so you have to double the letter, and I actually forgot a marking. That's like a bonus letter, so we put a little star above it, right, to keep the Y happy. And we know that we have to put lob here because this is a closed syllable with a short vowel. And this one is an open syllable, and you need to make sure you mark it. What vowel does it sound like? Long E, right? Lobby. Okay, the next section is sound alike words. The first sound alike word I want you to write is bye. He said bye before he left the house. Bye. Write it down, spell it correctly. And spell it with me. Ready? B-Y-E. Bye. And remember, the signal was just waving by. Okay, sound alike word number two is mind. Use your mind to think about the problem. Mind. Mind. Do you remember? Let's spell it together. Go. M. I N D mind. Good. That's like, remember the signal is this. All right. 
Trick words. The first trick word is animal. I didn't make it plural that time. Animal. Write it down. Pause the video if you need to. And get ready to spell it with me. You ready? Okay, animal. Go. A N I M A L. Animal. Good job. And number two is does. Say it. Does. He does not like when it snows. Does. Okay, pause it if you need to. Let's spell it together. Go. D O E S. Does. Okay, and we just have time at the bottom to do one sentence. And here it is. I will adopt. I will adopt. That's one word, adopt. Two syllables, one word. I will adopt the other puppy. I will adopt the other puppy. Okay, check for capital letters, punctuation, scoop it when you're confident. I will adopt the other puppy. All right, let's check first and see how you did with spelling. I should be fine, it's always capitalized. Will, I'm not really worried about. Check adopt, A-D-O-P-T, right? The other, how'd you do with other? And check puppy, how'd you do? Don't keep that Y by itself in that syllable. All right, now when we go to scoop it, I prefer, I will adopt the other puppy. I like two scoops there. Here's what mine looks like. I will adopt the other puppy. All right, so hopefully you didn't have much trouble getting this down on in your composition book or your piece of paper at home. Remember, bring it back to school when you come back and let me look at it to show me you've been practicing. All right, third grade, that's it for today. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.